All right, in this video, I'm gonna super quickly take you over how to return a value from the JavaScript to Bubble plugin. So essentially, this can be used anywhere you wanna return value to use in Bubble from any JavaScript. That can be in the run JavaScript action, or that can be from any script that you have, maybe in your page header or anywhere else. So the steps that I'm gonna to take to do this are one, to run your code, and two, to actually get the value and use it in your Bubble app. So it's worth noting there's two elements here. We've got the JavaScript to bubble uh, element, which you drop on your page. Then we also have the run to JavaScript, run JavaScript action, which is in our workflow. That's not essential. As I mentioned before, you can call the function from anywhere within your application. In the JavaScript to bubble element, we define our function. So the function will look like bubble underscore fn underscore whatever you have in here. So I've called mine return text. You can call it whatever you want. And what I've done is triggered an event and published a value. Essentially what that does is expose this event here. So when the result is ready, it'll trigger this event and then you can run a workflow based on that. It's actually really useful, especially if you're running asynchronous functions or anything like that and the you're not sure when the event will complete. Now, what I'm doing here is the first step. I'm essentially just defining a variable. I've let text equal nine and I'm sending that value to the bubble function. In the function here, I've defined the output type as a number. And what happens when the workflow is run is I basically just console log the result and then the number. So we can test it. You could use that to maybe create a new thing. Let's say exercise. Add new and you can you can use that value wherever you want so it's a really powerful tool now what I'm gonna do is quickly test it so I'll open the console and hit return text and you can see that results getting logged so there's a powerful tool you can also use it to return lists and all sorts of things but this is an extremely basic use case on how to set it up 